Hey guys, I wanted to post another pretty useful tool, um, social media tool, um, that ex everyone might find very useful for their social media audience. I meant to post it earlier uh, this week, but it takes like 30 minutes for this thing to, to upload to, to Vimeo, so I, I uploaded it and I just kind of forgot about it. But anyway, um, I thought I'd still show you because regardless, it'll definitely be a useful tool for you. Um, Sprout Social is the name of the tool and it's kind of similar to Hootsuite, but both of them have their pros and, and cons. I'd say Sprout Social though, just looking, this is the dashboard. It's definitely much cleaner um, and it just looks, it's just a little bit more intuitive. It's a little bit easier to, to use and not quite as overwhelming as Hootsuite. Um, it was developed by um, the guy that started Groupon. Um, so it's, um, you can tell that it comes from someone or it's been developed by someone that has a lot of experience with this sort of area of work and understands how valuable um, it is to engage an audience. So um, one of the first things that's pretty unique um, or neat, I think, once you come to your dashboard, is I liked how it separated my Facebook and Twitter followers and audience. It tells me, um, you know, the ratio of male to female, what their ages are. Um, it'll tell me uh, my engagement um, on Twitter versus Facebook. Um, just um, you know, it, it's pretty. You know, it's it's really nice um, uh, in terms of how easy it is to navigate. Um, one of the things too that's pretty neat is you go up here to your, your messages, they have a, what's called as a smart inbox. Um, what I like about this is, you know, there will be conversations I'll have with someone on Twitter, but it might, you know, a month might go past and I'll be reminded of something and I'd like to send, you know, uh, a tweet or something to someone. Um, but what I like about this is that you can archive your conversations and store them all right down here, which is pretty neat. Um, you can also set up web alerts from here, just like, you know, your, your uh, Google alerts, you can set them up right here. Um, you can schedule just like you can in Hootsuite. You can schedule messages to to go out at a certain time. Um, so you can do it. You know, if you have a couple things you want to have, make sure they get posted once a day for um, a week. Um, you can you can go right in here and schedule them. You can dictate tasks and you can collaborate um, with other people, um, just like you can in Hootsuite, which is really nice. Um, in your feeds, this one here, the thing that I think this is where I think Hootsuite kind of is a little bit. Um, Got has as uh, Sprout Social beat right now. Although I wouldn't be surprised if, if uh, Sprout Social comes back out with something to um, to make you know to make themselves better in this area. I don't know. Um, Hootsuite, you can set up trending topics, and you can you know you can watch and, and follow trending topics a lot easier. You can't set up trending topics in here, to my knowledge yet. You can still add. You can add in um, you know uh, your Google Reader account and other blogs right here. Um, but you know you can add your RSS feeds and things like that. But they don't have a way for you to follow trending topics just yet. But I mean, I've been really impressed with how many different things they continue to keep rolling out um, with Sprout Social. So I wouldn't be surprised if something is right around the corner. Um, in terms of uh, discovery, which is a tab up here at the top, one of the things I really like about Sprout Social is it helps you find new people to follow. So you can go down to where I just clicked um, on Smart Search and, and maybe search something like um, um, music. Um, and it'll pull up people that are talking about that specific topic, um, and then you can kind of go in from there, click on them, and see, you know, um, you know who's following them, and you can you can check out and see if it's someone that you you think that you might want to start a relationship with, which I think is really neat. Um, one of the other things that I really like is if you go into your reports. Um, you can do a comparison, which is really neat. You can pick your iPad Pitchfork, which is a, a site that talks about music as well. You can compare um, to, to your competitors. So if there's someone in your industry, you can compare how you guys are both doing in that um, in that specific area. Um, I set up my account pretty recently again, so um, I think that you know there's not that much data here right now, but you can see how that would be very useful. Um, one of the things also is I know that they're going to add, they've been talking about adding YouTube in here, which would be really neat to see uh, that on the dashboard as well. Um, but um, it's just, you know, another little tool that you can add to your toolbox. Um, another thing that's very nice is by you can add in sync Google Analytics um, to, uh, to your uh, account. So we talked about that in our class. So uh, you can sync it, I think, right down here, yep. So you can sync it in there, which is um, something that's really nice. So I definitely take a minute. It's, it's a month free trial, so you can still use it for the next couple of weeks or next week or so before your reports do. But I um, just wanted to share this with you guys all. I thought it was uh, it's a very useful tool.